Hello everyone. Let's continue with our Python journey. So let me open PyCharm first. Like always, right? Let's open it first. And then let's proceed to the next thing. So in this part, in this section, we are going to discuss about variables. So what are variables? You think like a box which can store something. That is what we say as variables. So let's create our second program using variables. So variables can be anything as you learn in Max, right? It can assign any of your alphabets as your variable, let's say A or any of the name like. And, but you cannot assign and, why? Because and is an operation. So it cannot be taken as an variable. Let's say, if I want to take print as my variable, it's not possible to take print as a variable. As you can see, there is an error because print is a built-in function and it cannot be taken as a variable. Anything other than built-in function can be taken as a variable. And also, you should be keeping in mind, you cannot start a variable with a number. No, it's not possible. So, you can start a variable with an alphabet, okay? But you cannot start with any of other symbol. Only you can start with an alphabet. And do not forget Python is case sensitive. That is, let's say, let's create a variable. Let's say height. This variable, let's say I'm assigning 10. And this variable height is different. Let's say 15. It, they are different because Python is case sensitive and it cares about the case. So the first one has small h and the next one has a capital H. And that's going to make a huge difference. So you should be very, very careful about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Now let's do another one thing which I told in my previous part. How do we identify what type of data type included in a variable? If you want to know what is data type, you can check back the previous video and come back to the video to have an uninterrupted experience. So let us assign some variables. Let's say x is equal to 10, y is equal to a string of hello, and z is equal to maybe true, and let's say a is equal to 10.5, and let's say b is equal to one plus one j what is this sir okay we will discuss about this what is one plus one j but wait a minute let me do one thing oh my god let me just check the type of this so i'm gonna just say type of x and let's do the print and see the magic as you can see it says it belongs to class int yes absolutely it is an integer right and it says it as an int and that's what i said so that's how we can check what type of data type is in the variable and i hope everyone is excited for the variable B. So let's do one by one. Okay, let's run the program. As you can see, y is a string, 
there is a boolean a is a float now what the heck is b let's see let's unfold it are you all excited for that i hope you are wondering what is this right maybe if you attend in your high school maths you will have some idea about it but nonetheless let's check the magic are you ready it is a complex number guys it is a complex number we represent complex number as a plus bj in computers and that's what it and this is another one data type if you know any more data type please comment it down so let us all learn together right i hope you're thrilled right or else you will be thrilled even more so and i'm giving you a challenge yes so create a python program and input various different data types and identify the type okay as we only know what is a variable or we are introduced only to variable and the types so more than that we can't do more but we know print function we know variables we know to find the data type so i want you to do a simple experiment simple program to find the type of it okay and the next class you will see operations on variables and you will be amazed by how much purity we are going to bring you and if you like these kind of videos and if you want videos in high school mechanics comment it down we will be planning on that too right okay i want your support your support is the most that we expect and thank you as sub to the channel be pythonifying and that's me leaving you